direct from Las Vegas, it's the Sandy Castell and Friends Variety Show. Welcome to Sandy Castell and Friends Variety Show. We've got Cooking with Chef Michael, Fit and Fabulous Forever, and interviews with local and international artists, authors, and performers, and celebrities, and much, much more. Hi, we're here with Chef Michael, and what are we going to make today? Oh, I got some special stuff today. Today we're going to do the authentic, the original, homemade ravioli. Now, a lot of people out there, they have food processors, but I'm going to take you back in time with my great-grandmother, how they did it in the kitchens, because they didn't have food processors those days. You've got a hole in the middle of the flour well, there. Yeah, I'm going to show you how to make uh, this homemade ravioli. But first, a lot of people don't know, Sydney, about the, the stuffing. And what the stuffing is, is regatta. 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 And then this is what you do. Now, Sam, what I'd like you to do is get those two eggs sitting right there. Okay. Pour them eggs in that. Okay. Get yourself a, hand, a, a little bit of parsley. A little bit more than that. Okay. A little bit more than that. Okay. <laughs> You're making a mess. Okay. <laughs> That's add why a you call it dirty. dirty yes. Add a little dirty bit of pepper in there. Okay, very good. <laughs> Most of born, add a little bit of garlic. Ah, a little bit more than that. A little bit more. <laughs> Don't be afraid, okay. And just a little pinch of salt. And this is Himalayan it. uh, salt. It's Himalayan. From the Himalayan mountains, in fact, I went myself and <laughs> yeah, my arms killed because I climbed the mountain. You picked it, right? I picked it. Or did you scrape it I up? I scraped it up. Get that Parmesan cheese. Okay, Parmesan cheese. Okay, pour the whole thing of Parmesan cheese oh, in there. Oh, the whole thing. Whole thing in there. <laughs> All right. <laughs> now what I'd like you to do, San, Yep. Okay, now as everybody can see the ingredients on that, now you got to stir it up. Now, most people use a food processor, but me, I'm kind of from the old school. This is the stuffing that you use for lasagna. You use exactly for stuffed ravioli. Now, if you want to do lobster, a shrimp, stuffed shrimp ravioli. Is that it? Yeah, just keep a little bit more. A little bit more, okay. Okay. And it looks absolutely beautiful. Now, that's done, everybody, as you can see. And now what I want you to do is put the whole thing in the refrigerator. Okay, with the spoon? With the spoon. Okay. It's good luck having a spoon in it is good luck. There's your stuffing okay. for the ravioli. Same stuffing. So these are cheese raviolis. Cheese raviolis. Okay. Same stuffing for lasagna. Mm, okay. Same type of stuffing. Okay. Now, we're going to take, I'm going to do something here. I'm going to make a beautiful, real, authentic Italian dough. Crack the three eggs in there, Sam, if you'd be so kind. Okay, what? I That's it. And now, see, a little bit of oil. Now, people say, what'd you put the oil there for? Well, the oil is for the elasticity of the dough. And now, see, a little bit of salt. All right, now watch what I do, everybody. We got a little bit of <clears throat> water on the side here. And you'll see me stir it. And I can still see my grandmother, believe it or not, do this. It's incredible. And then what you do is you're making the dough, all right? And then what you do is you add a little bit of water for that. Because what we're doing here, folks, is we're making the dough, okay? Sandy, get a little bit more oil, please. Okay. Okay. Now, you can do this on a, uh, a board. That's good. You can do this on a board. You can do this uh, kind of anywhere you want. All right. I bet the kids would like playing. Oh, they would love that. And the excess flour, you put, you, you push it on the side. Okay. Okay. Now, as you can see, the texture of this, again, it's you like add a little. kind of flaky. Little it's bit. like a little flaky. And what you do is you add a little bit of more. You have your water here. Now, you can yeah. feel the texture of this. It's a little dry. And what you got to do is you can add the water because what the water does. It gives it a little bit more base to it. There's absolutely no yeast at all in this dough. None whatsoever, okay? And then you go like this. See what I'm doing with my hands? Kneading it. You're kneading the dough, and if I didn't need the dough, I wouldn't be here. <laughs> and then as you can see, now if you didn't have the oil in this, okay, you could not work with it. But see the... So why don't you need yeast in this? Because There's no it yeast. have to rise? No. No, you don't want that to happen. But see how this goes here? All right. Now, I'm going to leave it solid like this. And as you can see, 
and by putting it together, see how it's coming together? Okay. Now the cameraman's gonna take a little shot of this. He's gonna come in. Do you see how it is? Yeah. See? See how it came out? Perfect. Perfect. And then what this will do, this will rise. And what you want to do again, just a little, just a little tap of oil. All right. All right, pat it down like that. Put, get this here and turn this upside down just like that. And you let this sit for about an hour, okay? And then after the hour goes by, I'll show you what to do for the next one. And the next piece for this, we're gonna roll it out. We're gonna cut out the things and we're gonna show you how to make homemade raviolis. Look how simple and easy that was. But the average, right, the average person has a food processor, but that's this generation. When I learned how to cook, they didn't have those kind of devices. It's the old school. So we'll be back in just one second, right, Sam? Okay, we'll be right back. Right back. Mmm, this is good. Mmm. <laughs> and I'm very excited. You know why? Why? Because it gives me a chance to go to Smith's on Sahara and Durango. They got the best of everything, Sandy. You know what they have over there? What? The best food, the best produce, the best meats. I love that place, and I can't wait to go. I know. We love shopping at Smith's. I'm going right now. Hey, Sandy, do you know something? The Tuscany Grill in Henderson, their meatballs are phenomenal. So is their cheesecake. Haha, <laughs> so is their veal parmesan. And their lasagna. And their spaghetti mullionese. Oh, my gosh, everything is great. Let's go. I'm starving. We're going right now. Let's go eat some dinner. I'm so hungry. Okay, Michael, can we take a little peek and see how the dough's doing? Go right ahead. Okay. <gasps> Look at that. Yep. Wow. Isn't that nice? It's getting bigger. Right. But one of the things so, I want to point out, right. I left that up. Look, feel how light that I know, is. you said it's really light. Okay. Ooh, ooh. And that's yeah. underneath. And what happens is, people ask me, why do you put that over that? Well, by covering that, the, moist, the moistness makes the flour get a little bit bigger. Okay, and this is all purpose flour. Now what I want you to do, Sandy, is okay. I want you to make the Alfredo sauce. A lot of people say, oh, that's too hard. I don't know how to make it. I'm gonna show you how simple it is. Go ahead, So Sandy. now you put eggs in the cheese. And right. All, these are all the ingredients. Right, now let me explain to you. Hold on for a second. I wanna to explain to you why I, you put the egg in the cheese. Now get the eggs in. I was gonna ask you that. Why do you put the egg in the cheese? I don't know why, <laughs> I'm asking you. Put the egg in the cheese. Put the egg in the cheese and you stir it all up. If we need a, a You need a spoon something. there. Need a spoon. Yeah, you got a spoon, sure. Let me get in here. Get all of that egg out there, all that yolk. Okay. So you use just the yolk? Just the yolk. Oh, just the yolk. Yeah, not just the yolk. That's all you do is you use the yolk the of that, right. It's really dark yellow. Okay, now what I want you to do is add some parsley. Add some parsley? Yeah. Okay, so we're going to stir this up in a minute. A lot? A little bit more. A little bit more. Like That's that. good. Now add garlic. Okay. Now you can use fresh garlic or granulated. I like to use the granulated garlic because I got to tell you folks, Garlic powder, well, this little, a pinch more. Garlic powder is very, very uh, uh, bitter, so that's why I like to use that. Now she's gonna put in some of the uh, more. Uh, just a little pinch, a little pinch more. Okay. Now what I want you to do, Stan, is stir it up. Okay. All right. And as you're stirring that up, as you can see, it's almost like the same thing we did with the flour. Okay. To stir it, and I want to add just a little bit of uh, half and half here. And what that does is, there's your Alfredo. Base. Base. Okay. Then we're going to go over to the kitchen and the stove. You have melted butter, and then you add your half and half or cream, whatever you desire. And what the egg does, ladies and gentlemen, once you put it together, it makes the sauce thick. Mm. It gives a heavy base to it. You don't put flour in it. it it's, yeah. it's the oak of an egg right. that makes the difference. Now, as you can see, the way it is, you want a little bit more creamier. Okay. So what you do here... Is you just turn around, just put a little bit of a tap like that, okay. right? Ooh. As you can see what Sandy's ah. doing here. Make a mess. She's doing a great, great job doing that. And that is your base. And now, again, what she's going to do with this, okay, as we're going to make the raviolis, she's going to get that. She's going to put that on the side. This won't go in the fridge, will No, no, because we're going to do it. And, and, but not if you're at the in a restaurant, this would be made up in advance. And okay. when an order would come in, you would use this to do your base. Okay. And yeah. I wish you could actually smell that. And this base good. is absolutely phenomenal. And if you notice, it has just a little bit of a yellow tinge. And the simple fact of that is, is that the oak of the egg right. makes that color. Right. Okay, we're going to go over here now. How's our dough doing? Our dough's doing good, and we're ready to do with the dough. Ah. Okay, so this is what we're going to do here. You add a little bit of, see how that came out? See how it roused? Right. Roused. 
Okay, round house. And then what you do, <laughs> as you can see, it's just like a pizza. Now, I want everybody to know something, Sam, out there. What? When you're doing this, if you have a break in the dough, you didn't make the dough right. And as you'll see, as you'll see this, it's just like a pizza dough, okay? The only difference with pizza dough is then you would add yeast. Okay. But this is for pasta. This is for ravioli. And you can see how beautiful, absolutely beautiful, this is coming out. And what you do is you pound it down. All right, now what I want you to do, San, is get this like this. Take your time. And again, as you can see what I'm doing, do you know why it's doing it like this, San? Do you have any idea? Doing what like what? I see it's stretching out. See yeah. how it's stretching? It's yeah. because of the oil, the oil base. Okay. And you notice there's no holes in right. there. So right. just let me get this up for just a second here. See? Okay, and always have a little bit of, you throw a little bit underneath like this. So it doesn't stick. So it doesn't stick. And working on marble is phenomenal. So sand, it's all yours. Take your time. And you go from side to side. And you want to get it not too thin, but thin enough to put the raviolis in. Marvelous job. Look how wonderful. Look how she's doing that, ladies and gentlemen. This girl could work a rolling pin Such like you want to believe. <laughs> and she's not even Italian. She's been thrilling audiences all around the world. Now you're going to be thrilled at the latest album from singer-songwriter Sandy Castell. Get your copy now of Indiana Rain. Indiana Rain. Okay. You're doing a great job. Now what you want to do, ladies and gentlemen, you grab it like this, as you can see, and you make a flip. Look how beautiful. Look how beautiful that is. Look at the dough, how perfect right. that is. Just like if I was making a pizza in some Italian restaurant in New York. Now, as you can see, the, the elasticity of the dough, it, it snaps back. So again, you want just a little bit more. You want to push it this way, if I may, with your permission, Sam. Okay, sure. all right. Because this is the fun part of this. This is my favorite. This is my favorite part. But my grandmother, God rest my grandmother's soul. Now, I gotta tell you, when I was a little kid, she never let me do this. She let me do the cutting. But the rolling, she took care of it. And everybody just seen, in fact, our cameraman is amazed right now. He's in tears because he cannot believe how this is coming that out. It reminds him of his own grandmother. His own grandmother, <laughs> who's 151 still living. See, and you come out. Oh, look at this. Look how beautiful, everybody. It's gorgeous. Ain't this gorgeous? And yeah, do you notice? Yeah. Yep. And there's a reason for that, because when you make a ravioli, you don't want it too thick. Okay. All right? And uh, a little bit of that, and then you work it. See what I'm doing, folks? Yeah. You, you want to work it. Now, you can work this on your table. Many times, some people do not have uh, a countertop like this. So you can go on your table and do the exact same thing. Right. This is great around the holidays. Put the, the, uh, right. Flower underneath. And again, look how beautiful. See how this came out? Yeah. Now, many times, if you have a pasta maker at home, Sam. Yeah. Okay. You would cut it and then you run it through the pasta maker, and now you got yourself your homemade pasta. So if you wanted homemade macaroni, you can make like it. like linguine or, or 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 angel hair, this is exactly the way it is. Now in the in Italy. They come in a box, all right? Now I'm gonna put this out, all right? But this is so much more fun than just oh, a box. Oh yeah. Well, it's fun if you know what you're doing because right. if you don't make the dough right. It could be messy and sticky. Well, yeah, and then what happens is and they- it gets all over you. And it you gets think. all over, they, yeah. don't, they don't make it correctly. Okay, now take it, now here, excuse me for just a second, we wanna definitely dry this out, all right? Dry that out, Sam. Now, they have different kind of cutters that are out there. But I want to take you back in time because what my grandmother did is she used a, a cup, a glass that we drank out of, you know, this one of the family cups that were in our cupboard for a long, long time. And as you can see, now Sandy, remember, you need two cuts of ravioli. You need a bottom and you need a top. Okay. So take a look at this. Cameraman, are we getting a good close-up shot of this? Okay, he's in tears. Give him a napkin, please. Let him wipe his eyes. Okay. See how beautiful this is? Look yep. at that. Is that gorgeous? You're going all the way to the edge. Right, all the way to the edge. And the okay. reason being, you got your the thinness that's here. Once again, folks, what you want to do 
is you want to definitely get some of your flour, okay, and you want to put it on the bottom because you don't want to, uh, you don't want this to stick when you lift it up. And as you can see, this came out absolutely fantastic. Look how beautiful this is. See how that nice that is, Sandy? Look how beautiful. See how nice? Okay, and this is a wonderful, wonderful uh, pasta, and this ravioli is going to come out great. Now, Sam, what I want you to do, okay, everybody out in TV land is watching with bated breath. <laughs> Here's the cup. See the circumference of the of the lid? Yeah. You can use any kind you like, but I like a little bit of a bigger one because sometimes a little bigger of a ravioli is really kind of nice. And what you do, I want to make this one here, go to the edge like that, and then what you do is you cut that out like that. Like and making go, cookies. Like making cookies and go all the <laughs> way around, Sam. That's the way to do it. All right. Now as Sandy's doing that, we're going to take a quick uh, commercial right. break and we're going to come back and we're going to show you how she stuffs those raviolis. Boy, we'll what be a, right back. Yeah, what a great <laughs> job. Wow, wow. You know what Benjamin Franklin said? What? Anybody who represents themselves as a fool. This guy, his name is Neil Caminaris. He is one of the best civil attorneys in Las Vegas. Do you know what he specializes in? Asset protection, estate planning, business law, bankruptcy, foreclosure, immigration. That's what I love about this guy. Neil Calmineras. He's the best. We're back with Chef Michael and we're making raviolis. Mmm, we've already made all of our little circles here. Right, well we cut them out and as yeah. you all know, you, everybody's seen that big dough? Well guess yeah. what, this is what's left of the big dough. You don't throw it out, what you do is you add a little bit more water and flour, a little tub of, of uh, oil, and you knead the dough again, you know, and then you turn around and you push it out as you can see, because you can get another 10 raviolis out of this. Wow. Okay? So show them though how you beat it up first. Though. Well, what you did is I, <laughs> what I did is I kneaded the dough, and as you can see how I work, see my palm? I go this way coming in, because what you want to do is you want to make sure that the dough is together, because if the dough is split in the middle, it'll never come out solid. See how beautiful Sandy did these? Look how nice. Look how gorgeous they are. Oh. See how nice? And then what you do, folks, is you get that guy and you, pre you press it down like this, and once again, Okay, you turn around and get your your uh, your lid and you turn it over like that. Now, Sam, I need you to go to the refrigerator and get the ragotta. Okay. Ah, look at that. Ain't that gorgeous? Now, I'm gonna make one, and then Sandy, you can make the rest. Now, this was my grandmother's style, the way she was doing it. Okay, what you do is you get your, you get your ragotta, see how it goes, and you put it like this, not too much. Did everybody see how that is? You get this on the top, you squash it down, just like this, and, and, then, yeah, and then with the fork, folks, this is what you have to do. In fact, put a little less than I did, Sam. Yeah, because it's squishing yeah, out. Yeah, it's squishing down. Okay. Okay? And then this is what you do, and the reason being for that is putting that down is uh, it holds everything together, and then look how absolutely gorgeous oh. that homemade ravioli is. <laughs> now again, in this sauce, you can put crab, you could put shrimp, you could put lobster. Oh my God. You could put spinach. Right, so is if that, you don't want is the that cheese. Enough, uh, uh, that's, no, no, that's perfect, that's okay. perfect. Right. Yeah, and then put each one of them, okay? okay. That's great, Sam. And as Sandy's doing that, ladies and gentlemen. Actually. Yeah, you I can see this that looks that absolutely, that yeah, that's fantastic. Okay, yeah. Because then I can do the lid, right. the, the tops on it. And then what we do is we're going to boil the, the ravioli, and I'm going to show you how you take them out, and I'll show you how you make the Alfredo sauce. But again, like I mentioned to everybody, there's a couple ways you can do this. You can add whatever you want. Some people say, well, I don't want cheese. I like to have a spinach ravioli. You can do oh, the, yeah. Or meat. You can add meat to that. But you still always add the egg. The reason being for the egg, it holds everything together, which is very, very important. Look how beautiful that came out. Marvelous. That is absolutely great. Oh my God, look at that. Okay, great. Well, again, as uh, Sandy's stuffing the ravioli and doing this, we're gonna go to a quick commercial break. We're gonna come back. We got so much more to show you. You're gonna go crazy in your head. Get your appetite ready. Mmm, -hmm. mm, boy, that's good. <laughs> we'll be right back. W-I-M-A, what does that mean, Sandy? Women and men in music and arts. WEMA. Empowering artists of all ages through education, mentoring, and scholarships. What a great feeling to give these scholarships to these people that need it. I know, and you can go to WIMAFoundation.org, become a member, or make a donation. Hey, Chef Michael, what kind of green is that? Well, that's called a Savoy cabbage. 
in Italian, we say Aveds. 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 Yeah, Aveds. in Italian. It's called Savoy cabbage. It's the curly cabbage. I got to tell you, ladies and gentlemen, there's a lot of ways of making this, but the Italian style, we fry it with oil and garlic. It's a very sweet cabbage. Comes out great. Now, you could put a ham hock in it. You can add some fresh tomato. If you like, you can add pork to it. If you have a soup, that's great for soup. But me, with the Italians, what we really like, we like it straight like that. I mean, it comes out great. So as you can see, the, the garlic is frying. And now we get our aves over here and get by the hand like this. And the, this is cooking. Oh, here, let me do it. Oh, you want to? I was going to make, okay, I go, do sure, it. go right I'm ahead. Put some in. Go right ahead. Come here, come here, come here. I'm going to put some in. Stay right here with me. <laughs> well, I put it in. <laughs> I can say I fixed it. Okay. <laughs> All of it? Okay, now hold up for just a second. Now now what I want okay. you to do is get some salt. Okay. Okay, layer that half of salt. Salt, we don't have Well, get salt. pepper, yeah. Get the pepper over here, okay. add some pepper. All right. Let me step out of here for just a brief moment. All right. Here's some salt. I just wanted to feel what it felt like. Yeah, that's, that's great. <laughs> it's all crinkly. It is. I don't want to do too much. Okay, add a little bit of salt to it. Did Maybe. you add the salt? Yeah. Garlic. Garlic. Okay, now, hold on. That's it. Now what I want you to do is finish, finish it off. Okay. All right. Now this is called Aveds. This is called Savoy cabbage. Aveds, Aveds. Aveds, and it's great. <laughs> I'm telling you, you got to try it at home. They got it at Smith's, and it's very, very good. They got it in the produce department. Okay. Now, as this for now, what you do is this. Now, this is frying, and what okay. you need to add is a little bit of that water sand. Let me have that water, okay. please. Add just some water. Okay, that's perfect and get a lid and put that lid on top of that and let that cook. Now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to make the Alfredo because the raviolis are done. As you can see over there, there's the raviolis and we're gonna boil the raviolis, okay? And put the raviolis in the water once it starts to boil. Now, on an Alfredo sauce, very, very important. What you do is you add, let me put this on for a second, all right? You melt your butter down, all right? There's your butter. Now, what I used was a, was a stick, okay? They have a pound of butter. You got four sticks in a pound. You use one stick of butter to melt that down. And then what you do, you add your half and half. All right? Look how beautiful that's coming out. So how much are you putting in there? Well, it's, it's almost a quart. Half of a half? Yeah, it's a half, <laughs> it's a half of a half, okay? Half a half That'll come... Quart. That's almost coming. It's going to come out absolutely fantastic. You could also use milk if you like. No problem there. And again, like I mentioned, as this is done, this is the key. Now, you'll notice once Sandy puts this piece into that, it will tighten it up, and you will see in front of your eyes how creamy that comes. Now, many times when I had my restaurant, the first thing I would ask the person that was coming in, let me ask you a question. What's your signature dish? And I would ask them, and I would say, go cook it. If I liked it, I would say now I want you to make a fettuccine Alfredo because the balance on an Alfredo sauce is very, very special and you really have to know what you're doing and this is the balance. That's right. You were talking something about right. if it separates, right? You well, yeah, a lot of separate. people, exactly. They use too much butter or they use too much milk. It's too loose. Some people put ricotta. They put a lot of people, believe it or not, they add um, flour. No good. It's okay. too pasty. This comes out like cream. So do I put it in now? No, no, no. You oh. have to let this. Oh, heat. Yeah, this has to not come to a boil, okay. but it has to get up. As you can see, the way this is, and what will happen, you'll notice that the butter separated from the milk. But the minute you put that into that, you will see a completely difference. And when we come back, Sandy's going to put, Sandy's the one that's going to put this together. This is how easy, it's hard, but it's really, really easy. So stay tuned, right, Sandy? Stay tuned for more with Cooking with Chef Michael. Oh, how exciting. I'm so excited. <laughs> Owning your own home is absolutely a blessing in life. Except when things go wrong. That's why you need somebody good to come in to do the repair, to uh, put extensions, to do whatever needs to be done from plumbing to painting, I mean flooring. The one guy that I know that will really come through for you, his name is Alex Yanko. That's Everyday Home Improvement. Hey, guess what? I think something's leaking. I better call him. And we're ready for the Alfredo. Okay, as you can see, ladies and gentlemen, there's the Alfredo came to a simmer. And then now what you do, here comes the ingredients. What you do is you put this in like this. Oh my God, look how beautiful this is. Okay. And now I got, now as you see, you gotta be very careful. All right, be careful, everybody. You don't want it to boil too much, right? No, no, no. If you scorch it, you'll, that's no good. 
You can't scorch it because milk will scorch. People say, what do you mean by that? It'll scorch. Then it gets that burnt taste. Then it gets right? that burnt taste. Yeah. Here, grab that sand for just a second. And as you can see, folks, see how beautiful that's coming out? All right, look at this. Oh, yeah. See the creamy? Oh, look at this. Look how gorgeous. See how the thickness? Mm. See? That's good. See that? And this is, the, this is my Alfredo, okay? And this is the first thing I would do when chefs would come in. Mm. And then what this does, this cooks down. See, folks, look how gorgeous. And what makes this heavy? See how nice? How beautiful, it's not thin, it's not thick, it's perfect. And you just and you just let it go to a simmer. Now the longer that you cook it, the tighter it gets. Now is this cooking, look at that sand, is that gorgeous? Look at how beautiful. It's thicker, yeah. yeah. Now you can get the raviolis. Okay. And Sandy right now, folks, is gonna put the raviolis in. Go ahead. I just put them in? Just put them in. Okay. Be careful. One, okay. two, <laughs> three, Four. Oh boy, this is looking good. Cameraman, take a look at this Alfredo sauce. Is this gorgeous? And this is the first thing that I would see. And if the cook or chef would make it like this, I knew he knew his craft. Because when you're doing Alfredo, there's your balance with clams, your soups, and this is the hook. This is the key. Take a look, everybody. Look how nice. See the color of it? It's not yellow, but it's got just an off, an off tint of yellow. Oh yeah, now it's more creamy looking. Now it's more creamy looking. Right, See how that comes right. out? Yeah. Now you can use fresh garlic if you like. I wouldn't suggest it because it's too bitter when you bite into it. Because the key to this is the, believe it or not, it's the cheese. Now I usually use Rocadelli cheese or Romano cheese or Pecca Romano, either one that you would like. But okay. Smith's has a great selection of different cheeses. Yes, What Andy. do I have to do with these? Do Nothing. Just, yeah, just leave them alone. Like now, they're going to be cooking. I don't need a lid? Uh, no, no, not a lid on that. And one of the things I wanted to bring out to you, which is very, very important, is right over here. Now, many times you want you people get a ravioli and they'll get it and they'll put it in a macaroni strainer. The minute the ravioli hits, it breaks into a million pieces. You don't want to do that. This is what you want to use. You can get this at Smart and Final. This is about $7.95, $8. Great tool to use because what happens is See how nice the raviolis go on the top? Look how beautiful that is. Mm. And as they're cooking, and then when you're done, you just grab them like this, and you take the ravioli out of the boiling water. So as that's cooking, <laughs> so we'll be right back. Man, I can't wait. I'm so hungry. Here we are with a specially prepared meal by Chef Michael. And Sandy Castell. <laughs> and it's raviolis with the cheese, cheese raviolis with the Alfredo sauce. Yes, ma'am. And of course we have? The Alveds. Alveds. Alveds, it's called the Savoy <laughs> cabbage and it's magnificent. And also we have something to drink here for those of us who don't always want to drink an alcoholic beverage. We have sparkling cider, mm. which is also good. Is. We just want to say, have a great day and enjoy your wonderful meal. Cook this at home and then you'll be cooking with Chef Michael. That right, sounds great. <laughs> ah, salud, the bomba salud, hey, forget about it. Mmm. Ah, oh, there we oh, go. Look at that. Mm. And then how about some of uh, <laughs> Thank you for joining Sandy Castell and Friends. See you next time.